Hey everyone, so it is springtime, which means rhubarb season, and my farmer's market has been having a lot of beautiful rhubarb there, so I'm going to make some rhubarb syrup. This is a pretty versatile syrup. You can use it on um, vanilla ice cream, or on yogurt, or on pancakes, or as a base of a salad dressing. My husband and I pretty much only use it to make uh, rhubarb soda, though, and I'll show you at the end how I make my soda. Uh, what I'm doing here is, uh, you want to start with probably about three uh, big stalks of rhubarb. You need four cups total for the recipe. Um, I probably am going to wind up with a little more than four cups, and I will adjust accordingly. So the ratio for this syrup is one part uh, sugar, one part water, and four parts rhubarb. So I've got a cup of water in my pot ready to go, and I have a cup of sugar measured out. And then I'll see how many cups of rhubarb I wind up having, and I'll adjust uh, my water and sugar accordingly. So you just need to cut up the rhubarb. It doesn't really matter if it's all uniform. I made a strawberry rhubarb pie earlier this week, which is why I had like one little stalk of rhubarb. Uh, strawberry rhubarb pie is our favorite pie. We add cardamom to ours, and I realize that I have not actually put that recipe on this channel yet, so I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, that one and a quarter stalks has already given me about two cups, so I will probably have to adjust the recipe a little bit. So I have a heavy bottomed pot here. It's very important, well, not very important for this, but pretty important that it have a nice heavy bottom so that you won't risk a scorching or burning anything. And I put all the rhubarb, which wound up being about five cups, and here's a cup of sugar. And like I said, it is one part water, one part sugar, four parts rhubarb. So since there's five cups of rhubarb instead of four, I have to add an extra quarter cup each of water and sugar. So I'm going to do that. So I've got this on medium heat. And what you basically want to do is bring it to a gentle simmer. And while doing so, stir it around a little bit and make sure that all the sugar dissolves. All right, when it is simmering away like this, and all the sugar is melted, you need to cook it for 20 minutes like this. So I'm going to cover it for the first 10 minutes just to make sure that the rhubarb uh, is cooked all the way through. Okay, I know I said I'd cover it for 10 minutes, but uh, the rhubarb has already broken down enough that it is submerged in the water after like two minutes. So uh, uncover it and simmer it for 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minutes later, the rhubarb has broken way down, and there is some syrup left in here. Now we just have to strain it. Now I just stir the solids, and the syrup will flow through the sieve. It'll take a couple minutes. Uh, you really want to get as much of the syrup out of the solids as you possibly can, so be patient. Okay, I actually lied earlier. <laughs> you don't want to push too much of the solids through the sieve, otherwise your syrup is going to be all solidy. So there's our syrup. It makes about two cups of syrup total, this recipe does. Uh, so now I'm going to deal with the solids. You can throw them away, but if you know me, you know I'm not going to do that. Uh, if you have a garden, you can of course compost this as well, but I have this uh, empty jam jar that I've cleaned out and saved, and you can totally save these dregs. They're sort of like a jam. They're not anywhere near as sweet as a jam, but you can kind of use them like you would use a jam. I like it on biscuits or toast, uh, usually coupled with uh, either some mascarpone or uh, butter or cream cheese, something nice and rich uh, because it is a little sour. You can also uh, fortify it with a little bit of honey if you put it on a toast or something. But yeah, it keeps for a few weeks in your fridge, uh, more like two to three weeks in your fridge as a sort of jam. There, it says Smucker's Apricot Jam, but it's rhubarb. <laughs> And now for the rest of this syrup, this will keep in your fridge for at least two weeks, but uh, usually even more than that. I am pouring it into this old balsamic vinegar bottle because it's pretty. Uh, 
and there's just a little bit of syrup left over, so I'm going to put it in this old honey jar that I've washed out. And once it's chilled, I'm going to show you how I make soda with it. So to make the rhubarb soda, I never measure anything, uh, but I guess probably about an, an eighth to a quarter of a cup of syrup per uh, eight to 12 ounces of fizzy water. And now I'm going to pour some of my fizzy water into this container just to rinse it out a little better. But yeah, you might want your soda uh, lighter or darker Make it to your liking. I'm adding probably about a quarter cup of rhubarb syrup to about eight to 12 ounces of fizzy water. Beautiful, bright uh, pink color here. Mm, nice, beautiful, bright flavor. Thank you to my patrons for making this and other videos on this channel possible, especially Britt, Honey Badgers, Megan M, Matthew, Jenny D, Jocelyn, Gina F, Megan B, Data Fox, Gina S, Ruth, Katie, Lonesome Screams, Mihir, Morgan, Meet Fafo, Britta, Veda, Anna, and Aditya.